Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Punk Rock Ham Radio, where Punk Rock and Ham Radio collide. I'm down here at US 4208, Roosh Lake Fish and Wildlife Area, or Roosh or Roosh or however you say it. It sounds like Roosh, so I'm just going to call it that. I wanted to try maybe setting up an N-fed half wave antenna up on a tree branch somewhere, but this spot is really crowded, so I'm going to work with this little open area over here has some picnic tables and a nice lake view. Antenna wise, I'm thinking to do the same thing that I've been doing, that 17 meter dipole. I got the 17.5 random wire antenna. I might set up that vertically or maybe I'll just cut some wire and try like a 33 foot long end fed half wave wire for 20 meters ish or so so i only have a 20 foot high mass and doing like a 66 foot long wire it's just it's just not high enough and then it bends and i can't really get the wire taut doing that so i might try that or try something new or try something that i've already done it is kind of late in the day, so I don't have that much time. And I do want to try to get in two activations today. Yeah, I only have a couple hours to get this done and I don't want to be fumbling around experimenting. Well, I do, but I just don't have time. I do want to get the park activated today. Got all my stuff here. I'm gonna just set up on this picnic bench and just put the mask down right there in the little flagpole stander thingy just under the the picnic bench okay so i have decided to do the thing that i haven't done before i'm going to cut about 33 feet long of wire i'm going to try a and fed half wave uh this may be a terrible idea um so hopefully that doesn't fall over i think this is actually a 64 to one this is that 100 watt spark plug antenna See, the first antenna on my first successful POTA activation was just up over yonder that way with uh, the wire thrown up into a tree. And I got like 36 contacts or something. And then I got completely overwhelmed by what was going on. But it was awesome. And then I called QRT. And that was kind of the beginning of my Parks on the Air career. It was right, right at this spot. Right up over there. Down by the lake. So, uh, anyways, I got my handy dandy antenna tool so i'm gonna cut this wire for around 33 feet and we'll see what happens maybe it'll work maybe it won't but let's have fun trying and learn something new along the way okay i got the wire on here there let's put some coax on there and put this wire up in the air put the antenna analyzer on it and See if this works. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put the feed point down low and then slope it up like that, or put the feed point up high and then slope it down like that. But I had these little gear tie thingies, which there's probably some metal in this, which I don't have a good feeling about. And it's in there pretty good. I don't think it's gonna fall over. So let's, let's put this up and see how this goes on another episode of Punk Rock Ham Radio. all the way up in the air. So let's go figure out where I'm gonna tie off the end of this wire. And hopefully this works. All right, so this is what I got. The wire is in the air. It is bending the pole a lot, but, and there's no, there's no strain relief on that. I have broken 
the end of that wire like two times now, but it, it'll get the job done for today. But the wire's up in the air, sloping down over here. Here's the end of the wire and just some paracord staked off over there. So let's put the analyzer on it and see what we got. The results are in and this antenna officially sucks and fan conditions officially suck today. I think I know one of the reasons why this, an this antenna sucks is the feed points up there. There's no other counterpoise except for the coax and it's only kind of touching the ground right there. So even though this antenna sucks, I am gonna work with what I got. I don't have time to fiddle around and try to get things perfect. So I'm gonna work with this and set up the radio. I do have good SWR on 10 meters, and even though band conditions suck, I'm probably just gonna shoot for 10 meters today, probably all digital um, and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and do that. This is KM6 TWI for Punk Rock Ham Radio. Let's get on the air. Okay, well, I'm on the air. I switched to 20 meter FT4. I got the antenna tuner set up on it and I'm getting contacts faster than, than I can keep up with this. So I think we're gonna get the activation done. I got two contacts within like 20 seconds. And here comes, a, here comes another one. Not a very good antenna, but does it antenna? Yes, it does. And does your cat make too much noise? Is your cat making too much noise all the time? Do you need a high quality ham radio ball cap with your call sign embroidered on it? Check out Pat's hat at gearforever.com. Link is in the bio. Make sure you check out his hats. He's got lots of cool hats on there. So thank you, Pat, for the hat. Check out Pat's hats. The website is gearforever.com. Get your high quality made in USA ham radio ball cap at Pat's hats, gearforever.com. Dude, FT4 is cool now. I like FT4 way better than FT8. It's a lot faster. Twice as fast, actually. And the little noises sound an octave higher in pitch. <laughs> Going faster. Seven, three, cool, I just got Spain. With this wet noodle of an antenna. One thing I'm noticing on the SDR mobile app is it doesn't always auto log it sometimes it'll auto log these qso's other times you have to manually log it other times you manually log it and it's already auto logged it i think i might have actually gotten a couple of contacts that didn't get logged because i've also been talking into the camera and doing all this youtube stuff demonstrating my terrible terrible nted halfway but Am I having fun playing radio? Yes. Okay, cool, I'm getting another one. That's just what I like to do. Just have fun being outside, playing ham radio. Maybe everything will work the way I want it to work. Maybe it won't. Okay, so everything's working. I'm halfway there. I'm having a little bit of trouble. The power output on my antenna tuner is really low. The power's all the way up over here. I think it's either an audio level thing or just the fact that the internal battery on my antenna tuner is like almost dead. It was like completely dead when I got here because I've been messing around with this tuner and the rain gutter um, at the place that I live at all week playing with SDR control on Mac and messing around with Winlink and FT8 and, and WSJTX and 
JSA call, trying, trying to interface all of the software for digital modes on my Mac with SDR control and the CAT server that that software has, so it's really cool. But I forgot to charge all of my devices before I came out today, so. It was doing this exact same thing last night too, so. I don't know. Cool, getting an another one. I switched to FT8 now. You know what I think is the problem with the tuner is that it's set for a scale of the the power meter is set for a hundred watts. So the little itty bitty little line right there at the bottom is all ten of my watts. So actually, I think everything's fine. Something was acting weird, but I'll I'll mess around with that later. I got a pile up right now on 20 meter FT8. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting the park activated. This is KM6 TWI for Punk Rock Ham Radio. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a single episode of Punk Rock Ham Radio. Okay, I got 10 contacts. I got five on FT4, five on FT8, so the park is activated. I have about one more hour to spare before the next UTC day, because I am doing two activations today. I'm in pursuit of the repeat offender award for US 4208. I'm at how many now? I think I'm at 17 activations now for this park. So I'm planning on going home today with 19 activations. And then the next time I come down here, I will have accomplished that goal. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna basically do the same thing and it might still not work. I think the only thing I'm gonna try differently is I'm gonna add a counterpoise to this setup. Since I was using speaker wire, I have two freaking wires the same exact size and I got some alligator clips with me. I'm just gonna try clipping it onto the end of the coax up there and run it down to the ground. I don't think enough of this coax is touching the ground. I think that might have something to do with it or maybe not, but let's find out. So I have the other half of the speaker wire that I just cut this 33 foot long wire from. I just put a little alligator clip dongy on there, just kind of crimped it down and put some tape on it just because, and let's see if this helps. What do you think is going on here? Let me know about it in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Okay, got a counterpoise alligator clipped on there. So let's lift this thing back up in the air and see if it helps. Maybe it won't. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Let's find out. I put the counterpoise wire on the antenna. It helped a little bit like this much and this antenna still sucks. You shouldn't need an antenna tuner for an NFED halfway. It should be a four band resonant antenna, but. And I'm making contacts, yeah, I'm, I'm, making, I'm making contacts. <laughs> Probably would have been a better idea to try something that I already know that works, but I also just like to try stuff, to try new stuff. Whenever you try something new, it might not work. I'm sure there's a reason for this all. And I'm sure I'll get a ton of YouTube comments tell me, telling me how I'm doing it all wrong. But you know what? I don't care. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you hate what, what I'm doing on YouTube, if you hate all my videos, then why are you still here? <laughs> like, go watch something else. I, I don't really care. I'm just having fun being outside playing ham radio. So let me show you what I got going on now. So there's the feed point up there. There's the radiator going down that way. This is the coax going to the radio that's only touching the ground like right there. And then the counterpoise wire is kind of going down here 
and it's I don't know if you can see it it goes all the way over here I'm sure there's a length that this needs to be too for this all to work this is about 33 feet long I don't know how many feet is actually touching the ground so but am I gonna get the park activated yes I have about a half an hour till the next UTC day so I'm just gonna chill and enjoy this nice view of the lake, spending time outside. This is KM6 TWI for Punk Rock Ham Radio. There's about eight minutes left in the UTC day before I get on the air again with this crappy antenna. I think the other reason why this isn't working right is that metal gear tie little doingy thing has metal in it that is just messing with the tuning. I think that's another possibility. Uh, my really I wanted to set this up in these trees over here let's go take a look but when I got here there were so many people at this spot that I couldn't set up over here there was too many people and even in the spots around here some dude and his two big mean dogs were in this uh, picnic of bench area under the pavilion over there so you couldn't set up anywhere around here because this dude's dogs are just going to be barking at you so it's completely empty now but i'm not taking my stuff down to go set up over here i don't have all the time in the world but look at this spot this is where i wanted to set up originally using these trees as antenna mass and throwing it up there with the paracord and the throw weight. This spot way down here was where I did my first successful parks on the air activation with the spark plug antenna and fed half wave. Come walk with me. I'll show you the exact branch that I got this wire up in. And I tuned the wire just by folding the wire over itself and it worked great. Now there were a bunch of people gathering down here. I don't want to bother anybody either with my staticky radios. But yeah. Alright. That branch right there. Just, just throw it over there. And that's up way higher than my antenna mast will go and it won't bend over either so that's good but i kind of knew this spot might be a little crowded it's kind of a popular little spot to come enjoy the lake and go fishing and whenever i'm doing ham radio i kind of just want to be mindful of the other people that are around me enjoying the park so come out here for peace and quiet not to listen to some guy with his staticky ham radios in digital mode noises that sound like ghost cats scratching on a talk but people probably don't want to hear that and just by me having my antenna set up over there i'm drawing all kinds of unwanted attention what are you doing with this which is cool to be an ambassador to ham radio even though this antenna sucks but it is what it is there's a bunch of other cool spots around here but one of these days, I do want to try setting up back down over there again because <laughs> I had a, the start of my Parks on the Air career. It all started right over there. So, I'll be back. Woo! This is KM6 TWI for Punk Rock Ham Radio. Let's get this last activation done and go home with 19 activations of park us 4208 okay it's the next utc day i'm all set up again on 20 meter ft4 with the same terrible antenna and the tuner still i switched it to qrp mode but it still has the scale of 100 watts but it's working i'm getting my first QSO here. FT4 is fast. There it goes. I already got him. Okay, cool. I just got Argentina. 
even though this antenna sucks, I'm still having a lot of fun playing ham radio. At the end of the day, like, we're not having fun. What are you doing it for? I got nothing to prove. I just like sharing all these adventures, whether it works or whether it doesn't work. Whether you hate my videos, I don't really care. I like making videos. I just got another one. This also was just totally improvised. It's probably a terrible idea to try to, to do this for the first time and film it and put it on the YouTube. But whatever, if you're new to ham radio, if you're interested in ham radio, I think this would be a great channel for you to subscribe to, even if my only goal is to demonstrate how much fun I'm having with ham radio and how much fun you can have with ham radio, and I think my channel would be good for you. Because Parks on the Air is a blast. And that's half the fun, things go wrong all the time. And I don't even know what I'm doing with half of this either. But I'm having a lot of fun learning as I go, and I think that's what my YouTube channel is all about. Well, that is that. I got the park activated. Two activations done. So I'm walking home today with 19 activations for Roche Fish and Wildlife Area Park US 4208 for Parks on the Air. I'm pretty sure I just inspired like a group of five or six guys out here fishing uh, to get into ham radio so just leave it to punk rock ham radio on youtube to inspire a new generation of ham radio operators playing parks on the air and just having fun playing ham radio thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna take all this stuff down now don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a single episode of punk rock ham radio 7-3, and I hope you guys are all having a great weekend, spending time outside. This is KM6 TWI for Punk Rock Cam Radio.